hello everyone and welcome back into another one of my videos so we are here of the first round of the nation's cup and we are at spa with these incredible red bull competition cars absolutely incredible car and if you want to find the livery you can as well join the discord and the livery for this car and for all the other cars that are going to be down there so start of the race i do have to say that it was really difficult to even keep this car under control and just to you know, eventually make it through the first corner, not to even mention all of the other things. So yeah, first one was a pretty difficult one. Uh, it was it was quite crowded at the beginning of the race. Really didn't know what to do except from just, I guess, defend from pretty much anyone else. But unfortunately, I just, I just tried to use my normal line. But unfortunately, I would say I lost this place and I got, well, I got down to P13. So started... P11 down to P13 just lost two places but I believe the star of the show was TCS because I'm usually not using TCS but with this car I just decided for safety reasons if I wanted to even keep it on the track I decided to put it at one so yeah it was kind of a saver in this one and definitely worth using some might say that it's not worth I think I was losing well, I, I think I was losing about two tenths, maybe even more per lap, but just for safety, just to even finish this race, I decided to put TCS at one and, you know, go with that. Eventually, I think it was worth it, but this was the first part of the race. Everyone was flying at this point, and I, I think I knew why. So everyone was not using TCS at this point. I think only a couple of guys did. And later on, it really, well, it, it's really worth it. But now, at this first couple of uh, couple of corners, it's definitely not. And then, P13, I just uh, caught up to Avi here, just in front of me. And he was, well, I would say that he was fairly quick, but I think I had a little bit more pace than him. And also, what was the really important thing in this race was, well, you didn't really need to fuel save, but if you can save a little bit more fuel, that would have been, well, that would have been actually great. But in the end, I mean, I... I think I really didn't manage my fuel in that efficient, very well efficient way, but it was okay. Until I caught up to this point where I don't know what honestly happened here, it was it was such a carnage and then I decided to go for this kind of a dive on a menti and it really worked out in the end. So I got the inside line and I realized that the Italian just in front of me had a three second penalty. So from P13, I'm up into P10, almost and almost even into p9 but unfortunately i just had to lift before orouge you know not to cause any kind of carnage because even in this race if you had any kind of damage that was just about two seconds per lap if you had any kind of damage if it was aero damage for example you would be losing about two seconds and i definitely didn't want that so i was really careful i was braking very very early and i was really cautious when i was driving behind someone not to well a lot of things can happen and you just want to stay clean and you just want to keep the car over the line. At the end of 22 laps, I can tell you that with this car, this is not easy. But also, just kind of minding my own business and not really getting involved into anything too, well, too serious. And all of a sudden, Avi just decided to, well, get into the barriers. I think he realized that it was not worth fighting. And then we get another place just because I said, if you get a penalty, if you get any kind of damage, it's pretty much game over. So this got me into P8. So the start of the race, well, wasn't really the best. From P11, P13, and now into P8. And now I realized that there are a couple of other guys in front that were in trouble. So it was, well, it was actually really difficult to even keep this car on the track. And then I realized that, well, uh, Kai in this point had, uh, well, he had damage because he was much slower than he usually is. So he was involved into an incident, I think the lap three, which of course he also got damaged because why not? And damage is heavy in this one, so it doesn't go away. So you have to do a mandatory pit stop. And only in the pits you can, uh, you can kind of fix the car and you can you know, eventually get going again, but if you pit, you're losing about 20 seconds, so it's definitely not worth it, and it was, well, it was only about one strategy, one strategy was pit once, do 12 laps on the mediums, or 13, as I did here, and then eventually change to softs, you can use softs at the beginning of the race, but it's not recommended, because you see what's going on, so there is a lot of traffic, there is a lot of carnage involved, and you want to, basically, you want to lose as little time as possible by, well, well, changing the tires. So, so, in this case, mediums were a really good option for the first stint. I think most of the drivers, maybe a couple of drivers in this lobby, 
use the softs and it wasn't in the end it just wasn't a good strategy because you just destroy the tires before you even get the chance to you know eventually uh, be free out there and you know go for those really fast fast laps that eventually uh, soft tires will provide so mediums were looking good the fuel was looking good i was just behind avi at this point and then i realized we had a couple of guys in front then they were all fighting for just about well it was p4 p5 and p6 and all of a sudden i decided to kind of see what can i do on the outside it, i don't think this was a great move because it was really dirty on the outside part of the track there was a lot of marbles already and uh, yeah i didn't get any kind of traction out there just didn't get this place but now once again i am on the straight and i'm in that slipstream slipstream was really helpful and on the straight as you pretty much can see you can fuel save so i was changing fuel maps i was constantly short shifting and in the end it proved out to be a good well it proved out to be a good strategy so i think i should have been not fuel saving that much because the car was a little bit heavier than all of the other cars but in general it was a good approach so do not go for a dive bump every single lap but just wait a little bit longer see what the other guys do in the front and well eventually just if you can when you can try to go for that move and then later uh, Avi did this little mistake it wasn't much of a mistake but it just got me into that two tent uh, gap and then it was pretty much just going through Orujan and Radion and then it was just moving to the left and overtakes he I think he really didn't want to defend that hard he just put himself onto the right side of the track just stuck himself behind me and that was it into p6 so I didn't really get the apex of that corner just decided to break as late as possible to carry that speed and one of the most important things with this car was using higher gears i don't think i mentioned it already but you you probably can tell that i'm downshifting and upshifting quite a lot and it was really useful because this car in second even the first second and third gear are almost impossible they are just they're just gonna spin you out and then eventually after a couple of laps i caught up to p4 and p5 and all of a sudden i'm thinking you know what maybe p4 it is possible so i might you know i might save a little bit more fuel let's see how this is gonna work out i'm not gonna push it that much i'm just gonna use higher gears like i did you can see here now i'm using fifth gear instead of the fourth gear and that's my strategy now so do not make a mistake don't push it that hard you're in the slipstream and then eventually if someone makes a mistake just use it use it as an advantage and go for that so it wasn't easy just to say it, it definitely wasn't easy to do something like that but eventually this exactly happened manu made this little mistake he got a little bit off the track and there it was up to p5 so the race was actually going really well at this point p5 from what p11 down to p13 all the way up to p5 and i realized that i got a good shot eventually of even getting up to p4 so all that i have to do is now get it into the slipstream save that fuel and when we go into the pits i might as well just put in a little bit less fuel get in front and that's gonna be my strategy and from that point on i just have to push but of course pushing here it's definitely not easy but again this was the strategy now so we just stay behind them don't try to do any moves or whatever you want to call them just stay on the track use tcs use it whenever you can you got the slipstream if you can use that slipstream you know that's good if you're out of the slipstream it's gonna be okay but you know really try to stay behind them because the slipstream was very very powerful and then all of the other guys started to pit i decided you know kind of get myself into well on the outside of this corner which wasn't really a great strategy because i wanted to overtake before we get into the pits and that was pretty much it i didn't get it but then i realized that he had well he had two percent less fuel than me so i didn't really save as much fuel as i wanted and somehow i got in front but i got in front with three percent less fuel now so it was definitely wasn't worth it so because now he's got the slipstream and pretty much nothing that I can do if he's this close. So, yeah, I think I should have put a little bit more fuel, which would, uh, which, which kind of helped me in the second part of the race. But now we're just trying to fight for this place right now. He's on the outside, but at the same time, I want to give him a little bit more space than usual. And I kind of overshot the corner. He's got it now on the outside and he managed to get this corner and of course this moved on so it was a little mistake from my side i wasn't really used to racing softs that much because you're starting on the mediums you're kind of getting into the zone with the mediums and all of a sudden you're changing onto the softs you kind of don't know where the breaking points are i mean you do but even if you slightly miss them with this car it's 
pretty much game over. You're losing like two to three tenths. And that's exactly what happened in there. We also got Lewis behind, who was on a completely different strategy. I think he also had to pit one more, one more time. And then with Yos, I mean, a couple of laps later, I mean, we were basically driving behind each other. Nothing was going on. I was just staying in the slipstream, and that was pretty much it. Just consistent driving. And then I decided to kind of show him, you know what, I'm there. I want to go for that move. I want to get into that P4. It was, well, I didn't manage to get it just about right. I was really far behind after the first corner, and then eventually you cannot really get any closer, even if you're in the slipstream. So P4, he was sliding quite a lot. So 21 out of 22 laps. You know, just keep it on the track, don't do anything stupid at this point, because that's definitely not something that I wanted to do. Here, I think I lost about two tenths not getting on the power that early, and that was... Okay, if he gets out of the slipstream, that's game over pretty much. But now, somehow, I got closer, and then I realized, this is my last shot. This is where I need to go for it. This is the point where everything is gonna come together. So. P5 up to P4, and then I realized, okay, three tenths, I need to be in that two tenth range. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Two tenths is just about perfect. Three tenths is kind of, you know, either I'm gonna get it or not. It's very difficult from three tenths to eventually go for a move. Two tenths is perfect. But then again, I got three tenths down, or Rouge and Radion once again flat out with this car. It's well, it's, actually, it's quite easy with this car. And then I'm just trying to see, okay, wh where are we going? What is my line? I'm trying to get on the outside, not the best possible line, breaking super late. And then eventually he gave me a little tap on the inside. And I was like, okay, I need to keep this going. I need to keep this going. And then he was on the marbles. And yeah, marbles got the most out of him. So he lost a little bit of that traction on the marbles. You can see that I think he just decided to break a little bit later. I think no harm done with this one. And um, in the end, I think it was, I think it was a clean move after all of this. So I got myself somehow into P4 from P11. I was really surprised by how this race went. I mean, <laughs> the whole point was just keep the car on the track, and then eventually all of the other guys did mistakes. I kind of capitalized on that. And then here, I don't know why I started pushing that much, but the car got sideways, and I completely. I mean, I said to myself, I don't want to do that again. Just let's take it easy across the finish line. I almost ran out of fuel. The fuel was empty. It was like no fuel available. Somehow managed to cross the finish line. And it was P4, guys. So what can I even say? It was an amazing race that I've done this time. And well, sometimes you need to be lucky. Sometimes you need to you play your cards right. And this was pretty much all. Like I summed it all up. And yeah, this race finished up in P4. I know it's 24 seconds behind the lead, but that's an exceptional pace. And I had, well, actually, I had a lot of traffic and a lot of guys to deal with. But I was really happy about the results. Well, 370 points, cannot be happier. Well, I think the win is going to make me a little bit happier in the future. So guys, once again, thank you very much for watching. And until the next time, bye.